Hey, Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're talking UV filter systems, and specifically what filters to use in your UV filter system. Uh, there's a lot of different choices, and uh, there's a lot of different reasons for why you would use a particular filter uh, on your UV system. So the first thing to think about is when we're treating water um, all across the country and all across the world, uh, the water quality is going to vary uh, depending on where you're at. Some places have really clean water naturally, some places have really dirty water naturally. Um, so filters specific to what you're trying to treat is going to be the key ingredient. But there's definitely a golden rule when it comes to UV filter selection. And that golden rule is you always want to have at least uh, one of your filters, pre-filters, uh, to be a 5 micron filter or tighter. And the reason being is that 5 micron filter is going to get the particle size down small enough that the UV light is going to be able to eliminate uh, or sterilize any bacteria or pathogens that are inside of the water. Um, otherwise, if you don't have that 5 micron, you can have particles floating around in the water and the bacteria can hide behind those particles and then it, it no longer is able to sterilize those bacteria and things like that, rendering the UV no longer as useful. Um, so that's the key. So what we've got here, I've got a couple of filters. I've got a string filter, this is a polywound uh, string filter, and then I've got a carbon block filter. These are two of the most common filters that you're going to find in a UV system. Um, this system behind me, we just got finished installing this. It comes preset with one of each of those filters. It comes with a string filter and then it comes with a carbon filter. The idea behind that is that the string filter is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. It's going to take out the sand, the sediment, the particles, the dirt, all of those kinds of things and then the water is going to make its way to the second filter. That second filter is a carbon block filter which is going to polish the water. It's going to make the water taste better, it's going to improve any odor issues that you may have, and uh, it's going to allow that water to pass through and be very crisp tasting, almost like bottled water once it's done. Um, now there's a lot of different combinations that people will use in their UV system. You don't necessarily have to use string filters or sediment filters um, per se. You, if you've already got pretty clean water, you may just be interested in a carbon filter. And that's why Pura offers a variety of different systems where you could have one pre-filter, two pre-filters, and it all depends on your water quality and what you're trying to filter to. Um, some of the most common configurations would be, for example, like a 20 micron sediment filter and then like a five micron sediment filter. And what that does is that allows the larger sediment filter to pick up a lot of the bigger stuff. And then it extends the life of the tighter filter by making it only able to pick up some of the smaller particles. So that's kind of an endurance situation where maybe you don't have any taste or odor issues, but you've got a lot of sediment and possibly some finer sediment and you're wanting to get that out of the system but not change your filters all the time. Uh, another solution that we see all the time, like comes pre-installed, is a sediment filter and a carbon filter. Um, the, again, the golden rule is the key here. So uh, when it comes to selecting your filters, they're pretty standard in size, but if you have any questions or um, want any advice from us, feel free to pick up the phone, shoot us an email, we're standing by at customer service ready to answer your questions when it comes to selecting the right filters for you. Um, so with that in mind, thanks for joining us today on another r Sewers video. I hope that you at least picked something up and kind of got the information that you were looking for. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. We will see you next time.